Hey everyone, it's Bailey and welcome back to Make a Bag Monday and this is my weekly Shop My Stash series where I go through some makeup, sometimes it's new, most of the time it's stuff that's already in my collection and we test it out for a full week and we see what we think of it. There wasn't really a theme to this week, it was just a bunch of stuff that I haven't used in a while and I'm going through a declutter so it's going to help me you know, make my final decision on if I'm going to keep these products or let them go. And I tested out two new things this week, so it was a little bit of both, but um... It wasn't a good week, I'm just going to go ahead and say that. Nothing was a total like, uh, but out of everything I've tried, only one thing I really truly love. So, I'm wearing most of the products on my face right now. One product, the one that I really like, ended up staying at work accidentally, so, mm, um, but yeah, I'm not honestly digging my face today, and we'll discuss why. So, if you like this kind of shopping stash video, let me know by giving me a thumbs up, and subscribe if you would like to, that'd be awesome. But let's go ahead and get into this week's Make a Bag Monday. Okay, let's first start with the base, and we use the Kevin Kwan Glass Glow Face Illuminator, and I have the shade Crystal Clear. This was sent to me through Octoly, so I didn't pay for it, but all opinions are my own, and I remember when they first came out with this, I think, was it Kathleen Lights? I think it was Kathleen Lights who was, you know, raving about it, and if Kathleen Lights likes something, I'm automatically kind of intrigued. And I want to say it came out during the last Forest sale, and it sold out before I had a chance to purchase, so I never tried it. So when I saw it on Octoly, I jumped on it because I was like, ooh, I want to try that, and uh, I feel like it just makes my skin look and feel greasy, and I'm a dry skin girl through and through, so usually like the idea of like greasy skin isn't awful to me, I'm like, oh, it just looks dewy, it's fine, no. This is straight up greasy looking, it could just be the color, very well maybe just the color, because this is the lightest one, but I figured I have fairly light skin, so... I just kind of went with that one. Um, it's just, oh, and then my face just never feels like comfortable with this on. It just feels greasy. And I tried it with a bunch of different foundations on top. I tried it with more lighter coverage, you know, BB cream kind of things. And it just, I looked really greasy then. I tried it with more illuminating ones, looked really greasy then. I discovered I like it best with a more of like a natural finish because it doesn't look as greasy. Today I used it with my A Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream, which has more medium coverage. And I think it's like okay, but I feel greasy and I don't know I feel like I just look greasy and not like in a good way so I would definitely not recommend this yeah I, I mean even texture wise it's just like ugh. okay next thing we use this week is the makeup revolution the Emily edit the needs palette and yeah Mm, no, this one's not going to be staying in the collection. It's just, for me personally, way too boring. I love using fun eyeshadows in the morning, and it's just being able to kind of get creative that way. Nothing nuts, because, you know, I'm going to work. You can't wear, like, hot pink eyeshadow to work all the time. I just didn't enjoy putting on my makeup in the morning using this palette, using these eyeshadows. Now, of course, you can think of this palette as a good addition to another palette, and it just has your basics. But even then, I just, after using these compared to, like, my ColourPop shadows, for example, these just take a little bit more work, and it's just, it wasn't doing anything for me. And I also used the face products this week. I used the bronzer and the highlighter today, um, and they're fine. I feel like the bronzer is a little patchy, and the highlighter just doesn't really do a ton. I feel like the glow that I'm getting right now is from the Kevin Aquan product. It's just very, very subtle, which isn't a bad thing. I think it really fits the palette, and it's just good for the everyday woman who just needs something quick and easy and has, like, a big mirror, which is nice. Um, I do like the blush in here. I think that's actually really, really nice. It's probably my favorite part of the palette. But overall, I just don't see myself keeping this around because it's just, it's not my style. If you're somebody who is more into you know, just a one-stop shop, you don't want to do a ton, you want something that's easy, then this could work. But I feel like it's still a little hard to work with. Like the powders are a little too dry or something. So unfortunately, this is a mess. Alright, the next thing that we use this week is a mascara from Smashbox. And this is their super fan. 
Fanned Out Mascara. It's just a little sample. And this is actually a nice little mascara. It definitely separates and gives a lot of length, which is good. But honestly, it's nothing like breathtaking. I think that you can find the exact same thing 10 times over at the drugstore for a fraction of the price. So I definitely don't plan on purchasing this full price, but that's just like the thing. Mascara is one of those things where it's hard to justify a high-end mascara because the drugstore does it good, the price is right. Now there are a few, a few high-end mascaras that I'm like worth the money, but I can think of like two versus you know like a hundred drugstore options so for me I just don't think it's worth the money it's a fine mascara if you get it as a gift or you find it like on sale or something or you have one of these little sample size hanging out in your collection I don't think you'd be upset with it but it's just nothing special all right and the next thing that we test out this week is this blush from Milani it's their color harmony blush and the shade coral beams it's a really pretty goldy coral blush and this is actually not too bad I just feel like putting it over the base that I've been working with between the Kevin Aucoin primer thingy and then this palette I just never truly like loved it and I ugh, I think there's potential there I like how there's a little bit of a sheen and how it's a very smooth powder but I just think between everything else we used this week it didn't have a fighting chance so I'm still kind of holding on hope for this one but I just ugh. it's okay it's not the best but it's okay yeah Okay, and finally, the last thing I used this week is what I don't have with me because I left it at work. It's the Clarins Natural Lip Perfector in the shade number one. It's just a lightly tinted, kind of like a lip balm gloss hybrid with like a squeezy tube. It smells like vanilla cupcakes, which is always lovely. And I really actually love having this by my desk. I literally just throw it in my little pen holder. And whenever I feel like I need a little color or if I'm like about to leave and go talk to somebody, you know, we need a refresh or my lips are just feeling dry, I can just throw it on. No mirrors needed. And I really like the fact that it's a squeezy tube versus like a wand or something. So I feel like it's a little bit more hype kind of um, and it's just like super easy and it's definitely gonna be a desk staple for me the shade I have is like a really really light pink honestly it doesn't give off that much color but it just adds a nice little gloss nice little sheen and kind of conditions I don't know I really like it it's just a good keep at the desk keep in your purse keep in your car you know if you just need a little something something you don't want to think about it it's good so honestly that's the highlight of this week, this Clarins Natural Lip Perfector. Who would have thought something so simple and easy it turned out to be the best thing I tried this week. So that's everything for this week's Makeup Bag Monday. Honestly, it was kind of a fail. But that's okay. Now let's go ahead and talk about what I'm going to be using this upcoming week. And this week's theme is going to be Glossier because it's been requested a lot. And of course, I decluttered my Glossier their like little foundation like face tint because it didn't do anything so I can tell you right now don't get that it literally is like nothing like if you want to look like you didn't put anything on your face you can get that but it it doesn't do anything so nix that one but I am going to be using their stretch concealer I have the shade medium and I already like I love this stuff it's real good um and then I'm going to be using their powder also a really nice product. Um, I recently picked up their new brow flick, which is their just brow pencil. It's actually very similar, if not the same, to the Stila one that we used a couple weeks ago, where it has like the brush tip and stuff, but we'll see. I have the shade probably just, yeah, I have the shade brown because brown. I haven't seen anybody talk about this, so we'll see if it's worth it and how it kind of compares to the Stila one because I think it's a little bit cheaper. I'm going to be using my Lash Slick this week, which is their mascara. This mascara is supposed to give a lash extension effect. And it's like a tubing mascara. It's not supposed to move. So we will be using this. And then finally, the last thing we'll be using this week is their Cloud Paints. And I have three shades. I have the shade Storm, Buff, or no, Puff, excuse me, and beam. So I'll be using these this week on my cheeks. And 
yeah, so everything we'll be testing out from Glossier. So hopefully next week will go a little bit better than this week because I already know I like some of the products and then some of them are new. Some of them I don't use too often, so we'll see. And with all that said, that's officially everything for this week's Makeup Bag Monday. Um, if you've used any of the products I used this week, let me know what you think of them, especially the Kevin Vaughn thing. Have y'all tried this? What do you think? Am I just using it wrong? Because I would love to know. If you would like to watch more Makeup Bag Mondays, I'll leave the playlist up here. And and if you would like to watch another video, say my latest upload, I will leave it right down here. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. That would seriously make my day. I'll put the button here. Sure. Um, but that is everything. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.